So these are the fishing rods that I've been using um, last two times I went squid fishing. Uh, last year I was trying to make something really cheap. I bought these reels for like $20, $25. And I bought these rods for I think like $8 from Walmart. Then these tips, I bought it at uh, Alibaba, which is like a Chinese um, website. It was like $2 each. It seems like when it comes to catching squid, you want really flexible tip. I mean, this, this tip will not break even if it goes like this, but it's really, really soft making it like perfect tip for um, squid fishing. So one of the members from our fishing club actually asked how I made it. Well, I guess I should have taken video when I was making them. I guess I'm just gonna have to make a new one for to show how I made it. I like using bait cast for uh, squid fishing. Just because I don't have to cast anything, I just push the button and it goes down and I can actually feel better. And usually bait case, when you're holding it in one hand, it's like so light. Um, however, a lot of people use spin cast. So this is the one I'm going to try to make it into one of those fishing rods. Anyway, like I said, I bought this for like 35 40 maybe from Walmart and this is two piece spin cast so I just need this half of it like I said the tip is already broken but um, let's see Ooh. so I'm basically make it where um, it's gonna look like this really soft tip but you have to compare the thickness of the um, the new tip and the thickness of the old current rod so I have to cut it where the um, this will actually go inside um, by the way, this part is really soft. However, that part, the dark black part, is where it, it has some strength to it. So I need at least some of this part. I cannot cut it here and put this part. This is too soft. Um, so I need some of the black parts that goes to the rod itself. So minimum I need about that much some of this go into the broken rod so looking at it I guess if I cut it somewhere here it may actually it may actually have enough room in there so let's see let me cut it and see what it looked like I'm not trying to be fancy or anything. I need that hole right there. I need that hole to be bigger than wherever that I'm gonna put it in. So that hole obviously is not big enough to put the thing over here. I'm gonna try to find So I'm guessing if I cut it somewhere here, looking at the thickness, if I cut it somewhere here, if I think it will be enough space for this to slide in. So let me. So. 
So I just cut it again. And I'm just gonna see if it will work. Ooh, so it does, it actually goes in. So that's the place that I'm gonna go. I'm gonna make it a little smoother. So you notice it has a split. I didn't make a clean cut because I was using scissor. I actually thought um, there wasn't enough. I probably end up cutting here, so I was gonna use knife next time I cut it. But it happened to be already oh, has enough room. So this is gonna go in. Like this and this is what it's gonna look like at the end next what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use a um, glue this is just general um, like Gorilla glue from Home Depot so I'm gonna put glue on top of this oops yeah That, that this is the broken tip from that rug. This glue won't dry quickly. So I'm just gonna leave it like this. And I'm gonna leave it like this. Let it dry for about 30 minutes. It's been about 15 minutes. And obviously it's still not dry. I'm gonna put some crazy glue. Hoping maybe uh, this will speed up the thing a little. Because for now, okay. So, so again, it's just a crazy glue. I think I bought it from Home Depot. Crazy glue usually dry much faster. So maybe um, I don't have to wait too long. So it's not perfectly dry yet. Um, but before it completely dries, I want to attach string to it. I'm using um, just white uh, 10 pound braid line. So what I'm doing right now is just spinning over the tip part of the rod. And I'm gonna put a little more glue on it. And I'm gonna, I'm 
me see if I can bring it a little closer. So far right here. I'm rolling. This is the part where if you do a really good job, it's gonna look pretty. But if you kind of rush it and do bad job, then it may not look pretty after you're done with it. I need to do it right. You only have one good chance at it. More than anything, you wanna make a tight. Obviously, the main rod, the white part, is thicker than the rod tip. So, I'm gonna have to roll like over a couple times, trying to make it maybe about pretty much equal thickness. Um, so before I go any further, I'm going to put a little more crazy glue. Crazy about the crazy glue. Because basically what I'm trying to do is make the crazy glue act like a epoxy cover. So I don't have to put another layer of epoxy afterwards so crazy glue itself will harden over it making it look like I put epoxy on top of it hopefully um, okay now I'm going over to the rod Now, now I'm over, so now I'm rolling over the main rod. So I think this is about where the yellow another braid line which is gonna so I'm putting another braid line so later on I can pull this line main line back into it so you won't the end of the line will stay inside. So here it is. I put the lines there. And I just pull the line like that so here it is uh, 
Um, yeah, I, I, if I, I should have spent a little more time, made it more pretty, but I'm just trying to show you guys how it works. So let me cut. It's gone. Where is it? Where is it? Come on. So what am I gonna do? Of course. I'm gonna put more crazy glue. That's basically how it looked like. Um, so, okay. let's see. So, that's how it looked like. Um, this will become, this is about, I say about six feet, a little over six feet maybe, but if, if you use the one from the Walmart, like a small ride, this is going to be less than five feet. This is going to be less than five feet. So. The good thing about the shoulder rod is it's just so much easier to carry and it, you know the weight is just so light. Um, bad thing about it is if you put too many lure it's hard to like pull it over the pier. So if you plan to put so if you plan to put more than like five uh, Lord, then you probably won six feet at least. Um, if you're planning to do like 10, then you're gonna probably need at least eight, nine feet. But I wouldn't go 10 because it's pretty expensive, those lures. Anyway, so that's how it is. And I'm gonna let it sit here again for a little longer and let it completely dry I might apply one more layer of um, I, I might actually apply one or two more layers of crazy glue why not It looks pretty good now. Okay.